Hey guys, I hope everybody out there is safe and doing well. Um, thank you for keeping the comment section friendly. Thank you. So I wanted to review the Swerve, the ultimate sugar replacement. Um, I know I'm late. Uh, this is a very popular product. I got the confectioners. I found it at Whole Foods for $7.99. I was very surprised that it was $7.99 because it being Whole Foods, you would think it was like $10 and up. Walmart, um, I'm sorry, certain Walmarts have it for, I believe, $7.69. Okay, so, and if you have somebody that works for Walmart, or you do work for Walmart, you can get 10% off with the employee discount. Um, just saying. But um, this is the confectioners. This is the popular uh, sweetener next to monk fruit. And I decided to get the confectioners because I wanted to see what was the big deal. It's non-GMO. It's a hefty bag. I mean, I don't use sweeteners and sugar like that anymore. So this will definitely last me a while okay um, measures like sugar tastes like sugar gluten-free diabetes friendly wow bakes like sugar non glycemic don't mind my nail you guys I just got home from work Tommy friendly keto friendly wow okay that's the back That's the uh, nutrition facts. I decided to get the confectioners to not only see what the big deal was, but also using monk fruit. I did a video on that if you want to go check that out. It kind of like makes certain foods, uh, certain baked goods hard. I don't like that. Um, and it crystallizes. So it's okay when I make my lemonades or my iced teas, it's it's delicious. It tastes like real sugar. I don't get any aftertaste, I don't get any cooling or anything like that. But I noticed on the lid of whatever container I'm using, it just crystallizes, I hate that. So anyway, I'm gonna open this and see um, what it looks like and what it tastes like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Sorry for the lighting. My lighting in the kitchen sucks. Okay. Now when I opened the bag, it smelled like flour, which is weird. Yeah, it smelled like regular white baking flour. Okay, this is what it looks like. I don't want to waste it. It's expensive. That's what it looks like. It just looks like Yeah, it smells like flour. It doesn't smell like anything sweet. It's it's weird because it's it's like when I dipped my tongue in it, um it was very cold, like it's been in the fridge. But it's not it wasn't. It's not that sweet. I'm not tasting any um, any bad aftertaste. Yeah, I'm not getting any uh, bad aftertaste at all. I'm not getting any menthol, mentally cooling sensation. None of that. It's just when when you first taste it. It feels cold to the touch, but I'm not. I'm not tasting nothing bad or anything like that. I like it. I like it. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on once I make baked goods with this, and uh, I'm hoping to make some dessert chaffles. And we'll see if it crystallizes or does anything. I'll keep you guys updated in the comments below. That's my review. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.